New words open up new choices for us. Words create concepts, and concepts create customs. Our customs become the daily life we live, for better or worse. All my life, I have been deconstructing words that my family and the society transmitted to me, and thus the life box they transmitted to me. Creating and committing to new ways of speaking has been a major way I have been able to get out of that box and come to peace and vitality and possibility in my personal life. In this video series, Words I Don't Use, I'm sharing with you my most crucial word releases and reconstructions in the hopes that you can be blessed too. I don't use the word physical, especially not to refer to the body as physical, nor the seeming solid objects around us as physical. This term has an interesting etymology. I'll let you look that up on your own. As for many words in our language, its usage has changed over hundreds of years. I am only talking about the sense I have grown up with in my lifetime in English. Note that in some other languages, similar terms are not adjectives, but a noun that does mean body. Physical can mean simply that there are physics involved. In that sense, it means that there are predictable interactions taking place atomically. That's fine. But consider this. I have long been a participant in virtual worlds. When developers build the world, they build the physics and refer to these parameters for interactions as physics. The physics of the world. These physics are the interactions of sets of information in the code. The virtual world is not solid, but it behaves as a solid. My avatar can walk on the ground there and not fall through, for example. Virtual world developers build physics systems that are similar to what we are used to in Earth, but that's only because we want what is familiar. That's not because they couldn't come up with and set in motion other physics. The limit is not necessarily a limit of virtual physics but a limit of imagination. In that sense, then, even a virtual world is physical. And yet, when I say that, it sounds not exactly right to us because we want to insist that our bodies are physical in a way that a virtual world would not be. And indeed, we have more potential properties and interactions than a virtual world so far. The developers are still developing. The common sense to the usage of the term physical is that we possess a solid meat suit we call the body. Yet investigation that we've put under the heading of science has led us to see that the human body as a set of atoms is not solid actually, similar to virtual worlds. Our body is ultimately not woven from tiny objects contiguous to one another in a way that space is closed. Quite the opposite. The space is wide open. The world we are now in is not solid, but it behaves as a solid, which is what I just said about virtual worlds. Rather, there is the sensation and property of solidity that arises from certain parameters arising from the tiny energy powerhouses that serve as the base structure of the realm we find ourselves in, including the avatar we are navigating with that we call our body, those tiny energy powerhouses being atoms. Not to mention that where do the atoms of the air and of the earth end and our bodies atoms begin how do we know 
which is which, since they are of similar, similar composition? How has the body coalesced atomically in a way that we can identify ourselves? This is me, this is not me. Not to mention that the atoms in your body now are not the ones you were born with due to processes of life and physics, but you are still you and the same body. It's really cool to think about, but also mystifying. Does the word physical really help us capture any of this reality? For me, no. In addition to this realization, I deeply challenge the model that cultural history has developed and that we still cling to that says that a human is composed of a body and a spirit, a binary form, physical and spiritual. Sometimes a third or fourth layer is thrown in, such as soul or mind or emotions, but those are often articulated in terms of the binary as well. Even those who do not consider themselves religious often still assume this model because it is what has been transmitted and unexamined for quite a while. Even as science talks about atoms, we must either populate the other half of the human model, the spiritual, by the ponderings of philosophers and religionists, or simply slice it off and say that we are only a physical body because that's all we have been able to investigate so far because our tools and our questions haven't developed farther than that. Instead of saying physical, I simply say earth body. The body is both one and myriad. There are far more than two aspects of our humanness, in my opinion. Our understanding is limited, not improved on, trying to insist on only two categories that all the features of our humanness must adhere to. For me, referring to the vessel that I use to participate in this earth world as simply my earth body leaves the question open to include anything that we might continue to learn about our avatar. <laughs>